not all bookkeepers are built the same. Um, and, and typically you, you get what you pay for. And then the other thing I see is business owners may not know enough to, to outsource this component uh, appropriately. And, and they might put too much trust in a bookkeeper who doesn't have the skill set to, um, to be able to advise that client. So uh, again, we, we typically see this with uh, when clients go direct to offshore bookkeepers. Um, it's a big one that pops up. Uh, they kind of just do what they're told and then not and, and the business owner doesn't really know what to tell them. Um, or you, you get the cheap ones who really, really cheap bookkeepers who really aren't skilled enough to, um, you know, to be advising a, a, a solid business. So. I just want to add that a little bit quickly. It's just also um, having proactive conversations with your bookkeeper is key as well. In mm. really understanding on what you want to see on your PL, on your balance sheet. What do you want to see? Because when once you give them that vision, they actually have the skills and expertise, considering if they're good enough, <laughs> that they will be able to deliver on that. Now, consistent touch points uh, with your bookkeeper is also important to keep things up to date as your business changes, as other ex new expenses come in, you want to make sure that it stays on quality. So catching up with your bookkeeper, think of it as like your accounts department. Uh, if you're a big business, they have a whole dedicated department for this. Think of your bookkeeper as that and you want to be having meetings. You're the CEO, you want to be having meetings with the heads of department, if, if that makes sense. So they're not just to get my best done. It's, it's really, really important to have that conversation yeah. and stay on top of it.